Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into some more Blaster Master by making our way through Area 8. So here we are, Area 8. Area 8 is the final level in Blaster Master, and as you can guess, it is the hardest level in the game. It's the hardest level due to sadistic enemy placement and a lot of sadistic traps in the form of spikes. It's not very apparent in this first room. In this first room, all you have to do is basically hug the wall and destroy all the mechanical worms that drop down. It's in the next room where things take a turn for the deadly. Yep, spikes are abound. This is a level that will make you hate your wall component a lot. The reason for that is it is so easy to drive yourself into a set of spikes. And as you know, since you have no invincibility frames at all, zip, zilch, nada, yeah, your tank is going to explode very quickly if you do not react fast enough. So, yeah, be very careful when you position the tank on a platform. Also, this level will make you love hover a lot. Anyway, in that last room, just jump through that set of spikes like I did, and you should be able to reach the door with very few problems. Just keep in mind, don't go jumping through the spikes a lot, because the spikes take two points of health off of your tank. Technically, if you do it just right, that's the only area you will take damage at, but... This level is very, very evil, so you're going to be taking damage a lot. There. Anyway, drive on the ceiling in this room. Especially if you've taken any damage in that last room. You can refill here. Just be careful with these enemies here. Yay, I could definitely use that for the next room. Hi there. Come here. No hover. Boo. Anyway, to get across this pit of spikes, basically jump, and once you start descending, activate hover. If you do it just right, you can only you can get through without losing a bar of hover, but obviously I didn't. Meet the most sadistic room in the game. Go away. I hate you. Yes, this room is filled with these mechanical worms. You know, the enemy that you can't hit in your tank. Yeah. Your best bet is to try to lure them. But since so many of them are off screen and they congregate very quickly when you navigate through this room, yeah, your tank is going to be taking a lot of damage. And, yay. Oh, crap. Go away. No. Good. Duh. There's a conga line of worms. Go away. Well, lightning it is. No. Oh, good. I can use that. Technically, after that room, if you can make it through with a little bit more grace than I did, you should be home free. But, yeah. Not quite. Well, I like you, but stop. Crap.
Can little Jason shoot? That? Yes, he can. Good. I'm hoping it would, it would drop hells, because I can definitely use a refill for the next room. Okay, nothing. And then this, in this next room, run for your life. Don't stop for anything. Just don't. I prefer to stay on the roof. To avoid those skull things, because those... Oh, shit. Yeah, they drop the red variant of the mechanical worms here. Just run. Run, 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 run. I can't stress the emphasis on the term run. No wall. Once you hit that point, just drop down to the floor here. And run. Stop for nothing. <sighs> and we're home free here. This is the one room where wall is very helpful. Because you can squeeze into these small crevices here with very few problems. And this is where the dungeon is hidden at. Here we are, the Area 8 dungeon. There's not very many power-ups hidden in this room here. Just basically shoot your way to the top of the screen. Ignore enemies as you come. Or, ignore the enemies. This is where the um, boss room is at. But we're not going to challenge the boss just yet. Yeah, I'm going to need time to practice this boss. The final boss of this game, the plutonium boss is one of the hardest bosses you're going to face. It's right up there with Hard Shell. Though the Underworld Lord is not really as as hard. In fact, surprisingly for a final boss, it's very easy. Other than that, I'm going to call it here. In the next part, we shall challenge the Plutonium boss and the Underworld Lord. I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next episode.